In this video, we are going to talk about how to find the center of dilation. So I have two examples for us to work through here. Let's check out the first one. This says triangle B prime is the image of triangle B under a dilation. Find the center of dilation. So there's a cool trick we can use to find the center of dilation. All we have to do is pick some corner of one shape. So let's pick this bottom left corner, for example, and draw a line to the same corresponding corner of the other shape. So this bottom left corner of B prime. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's draw a line from this corner to this corner. We're going to extend it pretty far. So let's just keep going like this. And then we have to pick one more corner. It doesn't matter which one. So let's say this bottom right corner right here. We'll draw a line to the bottom right corner of B prime. And we'll keep extending it. And what we're going to do is just see where these lines intersect. So it looks like they intersect at this point right here. So let's see what that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is negative seven. So it looks like the center is at the coordinate seven comma negative seven. Now, that's just a way to do it graphically. To verify that we got the right answer, we can use the scale factor. So remember, that's just the ratio of one side of one figure to the ratio of the same side of the other figure. So let's say from B prime to B. So for example, if we pick this bottom side of B, we can see that it has a length of two. And if we pick the same bottom side of this larger triangle, this one has a length of six. So two over six, that can be reduced to one third. So the scale factor to go from B to B prime is one third. Or another way to think about that is that the dimensions of B prime are one third as large as the dimensions of B. Or another way to say that is that B is three times larger than B prime. So what we can do is go from the center right here, the center of dilation that we just identified, and go to any corner of B prime. So let's say this bottom left corner. We would have to go one, two, three to the left, and one, two, three up. So three to the left and three up. Because B is three times larger than B prime, we should have to go three times the distance to the left and three times the distance up to get to this same bottom left corner of B. So let's see if that's, so what is three times this distance of three? That would be three times three, which is nine. So let's go nine to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's go three times this distance. So three times three, that's nine. Let's go up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a distance of nine and this is a distance of nine. And we can see that we do indeed land at this bottom left corner. So it was three times the distance to get to that corner as this corner in B prime. So that's just a way to verify that seven negative seven is the correct center of dilation. All right, let's try one more example. This one says square A prime is the image of square A under a dilation. Find the center of dilation. So we're gonna use the same trick that we did in the last example, where we pick any corner of one figure, so let's say this bottom left corner of A prime, and we just draw a line to the same corner of the other figure, so this bottom left corner of A. So let's do that to start. So we'll draw this line, and remember, we'll extend it pretty far. So we'll just go like that, and then we'll pick one more corner, so it doesn't matter which one we pick, so let's just say this bottom right corner of A prime and we'll draw a line to the same bottom right corner of A. And remember, we'll just keep extending the line until we actually intersect with the other line. So it looks like roughly the point of intersection is this point right here, which would be one, two, one, two, three. So negative two, negative three appears to be the center of dilation. And the way that we can double check ourselves, again, is to find the scale factor. So let's say, what's the ratio of A prime to A. So for example, if we pick this top side right here, what is the length of this side? This would be four. And what's the length of the corresponding side in figure A? This would be one, two. So the scale factor is four over two, which is two. Or in other words, we have to multiply the sides of this square by two to get A prime. So the way that we can use that is we'll say to go from the center of dilation, which we think is negative two, negative three, Let's just pick any corner of A. So let's say this bottom right corner. Let's see how far we have to go. So one, two, three, four, five to the right, and one, two, three, four up. So remember, the scale factor is two. So that means we should have to go twice the distance to the right and twice the distance up to get to this same bottom right corner of A prime. 
So let's see if that's true. So let's label this. This was a, a length of five and this was a length of four. So we should have to go two times this length to the right. So five times two is 10. So let's go five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And we should have to go two times this distance up. So two times four, that's eight. So let's go up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we do land exactly right here in this bottom right corner of A prime. So that verifies that negative two, negative three must be the center of dilation.